Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. In this video, I'm gonna explain to you why you should not replace the bar with the drawer when designing navigation on mobile. The bottom navigation bar in material design, which I'll call the bar, also known as the tab bar on iOS, is the area at the bottom of the screen that allows the user to quickly switch between sections of an app. The navigation drawer which I'll call the drawer, is typically a side sheet that displays different app sections and is triggered by tapping the hamburger menu icon. Both the bar and the drawer can be used for navigation purposes. Many apps nowadays seem to get rid of the bar and rely purely on the drawer, especially on Android. Without careful consideration, however, this can lead to usability problems. Speed One of the drawbacks of not having the bar and using only the drawer is that it slows down navigation. By hiding all sections of an app inside the drawer, users will need to tap on the hamburger icon and then scan or scroll a possibly long list before they can select the section they want. This may not be a big problem if using the app does not require a lot of navigation. However, when several parts of the app are equally important and switching sections is often needed, relying on purely the drawer will be super inconvenient as it requires a lot of taps and movement of the thumb. On the other hand, by using the bar, primary features of the app can be seen at a glance, and users can quickly jump between them using only one tap. Take a look at this version of Google Analytics on Android. It places all sections inside the navigation drawer, making it inconvenient for users to switch between and view different types of statistics. I often want to track my orders when using iHerb. However, in this version of their Android app, the order section is hidden deep inside the navigation drawer, making it hard to discover and use. It's worth mentioning that the My Home tab on the home page is not the same as My Account and does not lead to the Order section. There's no bottom navigation bar in this version of the Goodreads Android app. It's difficult to know what the app has to offer just by looking at the home page without opening the navigation drawer. Reachability Another drawback of using the drawer is that the hamburger menu icon that triggers it can be hard to reach. As phones are getting bigger and bigger, the areas that can be comfortably reached by the thumb are limited to the bottom parts, which is illustrated by this widely referenced thumb zone graph created by Scott Herr. Unfortunately, in most of our existing apps and the user's mental models, the hamburger menu icon is usually located at the top left or right corner, which is outside of the reachable areas. In contrast, the fact that the bar is placed at the bottom makes it very comfortable for users to tap on it with a single hand. This version of the Google Clock Android app has a navigation bar at the top, while it still enables users to jump to different sections with one tap it is hard to reach with the thumb. The new version of Material Design seems to notice this problem and provides a type of app bar that appears at the bottom. This makes the hamburger icon easier to reach, and it is recommended to be used together with the navigation drawer that slides in from the bottom in the guidelines. However, this probably goes a bit against the user's existing mental model. It might take more time for users to learn and get used to it. Information Hierarchy One advantage of using the bar is that it forces us to think more carefully about the information hierarchy while designing the app because of its limited space compared with the drawer. We'll need to consider what are the primary sections that are most needed by the users. 
The iOS Human Interface Guidelines recommend that we include only essential sections in the tab bar and use the minimum tabs necessary for the information hierarchy. This version of Instagram on Android provides a bottom navigation bar that enables users to quickly access the most important features of the app. It only uses the navigation drawer inside the profile section to list secondary features. The bar is not just an iOS thing. The bar offers so many benefits. Why are we tempted to remove or avoid using it in the first place? Perhaps it's because the hamburger icon is so common and well-known nowadays. We take it for granted and think of it as the go-to UI element for navigation. Perhaps we need more space for the actual content, so we remove the bar without much thinking. Some of us may associate the bar with iOS and the drawer with Android, which is not correct. Please, do not remove the bar simply because you are designing for Android. In this version of Google Maps on Android, the bar and the drawer coexist. Final thoughts. The drawer is no substitute for the bar. Because of its drawbacks in speed and reachability, we should be more cautious when using it and think more carefully about the information hierarchy of the app we're designing. By paying attention to how our design decisions can have an impact on navigation, we'll be able to decide wisely whether a bar or a drawer should be used, and will be able to craft a much better user experience. Do you find this video helpful? If so, please like it or share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.